Hey, what's up guys? I'm finally getting around to getting that stem cell update from my visit last month to CPI so you guys can see some of my scans and see some of the progress. It's a little bit more complicated of a update. First off, let's look at my knees. I had gotten originally uh, 10 million stem cells in one knee, 20 million in the next knee, but we're gonna focus on the right knee. My ACL was kind of shredded and just kind of holding on by a thread and, and not looking too great. And plus I have zero meniscus. It's bone on bone, a lot of inflammation. It was just causing pain where I could maybe ride my bike for 20 minutes before my knee swell up and then I'd be done. So in this first picture, you can see my ACL. You can see that sort of triangle in the middle is my ACL and all that white is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be completely black. This is the first photo. And as you can see, this is the second photo. You can see an immense amount of improvement. And here's what the doctor had to say about that. Okay. This one is so swollen. These are like the fibers mainly. We want to see completely black, okay? okay? And all of this is inflammation. And looking here, you can see how it goes. Oh, it's totally different. That is the most evident. Some yeah. joints take longer even yeah. from one uh, knee to another. Sometimes in the same patient, it's like if it was a completely different patient. My biggest concern was actually the meniscus because I knew that that was causing the most discomfort I was having. So in the scan, you can see all the white is swelling and inflammation, and you can see how where there's no meniscus, where that should be a gap there. And that's what my knee looked like then. Now, as you can see, there's a lot less swelling. My knee hasn't swollen up since, and I haven't done long bike rides, but I can go for about an hour and I start to feel a little bit of achy pain, but it's but I'm no swelling and I don't have any residual pain for days. It sort of goes away, the little bit of ache, which is uh, still to me a huge, a huge improvement. Um, I'm gonna let her talk about that a little bit. One of the meniscus is really deteriorating, like missing, yeah, right basically, uh -huh, exactly. Cartilage that yeah. is in the bone areas, yeah. it's getting better. So it's not a matter of growing or getting smaller. It's a fact if there were areas without cartilage, it's getting again to have cartilage. It, so yeah. it's little by little. In the future, I think putting probably chondrocytes yeah. also will be an option. I also got my toes done and I got my ankle done. I don't have the scans for my ankle, but I've had zero issues with my ankle since they said it looks good. It's coming along nicely and uh, we'll continue to see growth. My big toes, I have got done. I saw a little bit of improvement. They're feeling better, a little stronger, but still not as much as I would like. I felt the most improvement in my hips. I got my hips, my SI joints, and then a bunch of stuff done in my lower back. My back is where I've seen the most improvement. It has been uh, nothing short of life-changing. My back was at a point where I was in pain 100% of the day. I was in so much pain and nerve pain that I would just curl up on a bed or a couch. 30 days after getting the injections, I started having zero back pain, sleeping 100% through the night, which is a first time for me in about a decade. And we'll have her talk about that. Thoracic spine, we can see improvement, okay? Like the, the lesions that they were there, we can see how they're improving. All right, so this is a T1112, and it's this area too, right? Yeah, this, this is like all the lesion you had in the bone. We saw the pelvic lesions. All the lesions, that's the, yeah. what is the white it's, stuff? Uh, it's inflammation, it's a lesion on the bone, okay? okay. Like to be general, okay, okay, speaking. And we can see over here, how is it getting much, much better? This is the T1112, uh -huh. okay, okay. correct. So you can see that here is all black. And here we start seeing a little bit of white. It means that the disc itself is hydrating. This is the areas where we have the hydration. Okay. Okay. This is the lower back. Uh, is that L4, L5? Exactly, yes. So what am I looking at here? Is that the ball? Those, here. Those, those this is dip, the hernia. The the, let's see how it goes. Like, see how it's pinching over? Yeah. This is a new one. We still see here a, a bulge. Yeah. But it's not pinching it like in here. It's not herniated anymore. It is a bulge but it's not compromising a lot. This one is a slice of my body, like you slice it in half and you're looking down at my spine. So you'll be able to see where there's like a bulge down in this little area and it's supposed to look like a little face, as you can see, like two eyes, little ears, and it's pretty close to looking normal. It's still a little bit of a bulge, but if you go back to what I looked like six months ago, you can see it looks terrible. The bulge is harsh and down, so much inflammation. It's yeah. crazy how much better my back is no. and hips. I know I'm not cured, but yeah. it feels like it. Seeing the changes in the macroscopic, it's amazing. Like, But also we need to remember that as we see these changes, we are also having them in the microscopic level. So the fact that the pain is going away, that you're able to sleep better, that is helping your overall health. I see that you're definitely improving. I'm happy with the results. I'm happy with you being happy because the yeah, first happy. time you were like, oh, you're yeah. in a lot of pain, I remember that. Everything that I got injected in my back is virtually pain free. Those are the biggest improvements I've had and the scans that I can show you today where you can actually see the difference and since SAG is on strike. Warner Bros, you're no good. Pay your riders like you should. I 
decided, let's get some more stuff taken care of because my neck is a mess. Uh, here's a scan to my neck. You can see the three bulging discs and you can also see my spine there, which when I first saw it, I'm like, great, look at my spine, my spine's perfectly straight, but your neck is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this, this beautiful little curve. And that is from a lifetime of whiplashes and bike crashes, and bike landing and stunt head yanks and all the other things that caused my spine to straighten out, which is a big reason why I don't have a ton of movement and I have a lot of discomfort. Unfortunately, the most disturbing thing about this neck x-ray isn't even my spine and the bulging disc. It's this back fat right there, uh, just looking at the fat on my back. It's a real bummer. We also decided, after looking at all my scans, we gave a few little boosters. We did another 10 million in each toe, but this time instead of going to the joint, we really pinpointed the different things, as you can hear her talk about what's wrong with my toes. Different condition in one and the, and the other. Okay. Uh, on the right one, the problem is the tendon, the flexor of the of toe itself. And in the other one, in the left one, it's like Versailles, it's inflammation of the, of like the little joints okay. in there, okay? Those ones specifically, I would like to reinforce them again. I want to see with the ultrasound, and so we can go exactly to those spots that they hurt, it's hurting. Okay. Yeah. I can see the changes in the image, but I don't see them in you. So my recommendation is that we do like 10, 10 on each. They have a new stem cell that really focuses on cartilage, which is a, I believe it's chondrocytes. Con chondrocytes? She'll, she'll probably say that correctly there. Chondrocytes. And so we got 10 million in each of the regular and 5 million in each of the chondrocytes. Um, we also did the same thing in each hip again because we've really seen uh, a positive uh, growth and reaction and so we're going to reinforce it. I believe we did 60 million in my neck in those three bulges and then we did about 80 million in IV which was the first time I got the IV and I was really excited about it because the IV goes to all the biggest organs and then it sort of goes through their whole body but even people who are just getting IV are finding out that things in their neck or their knees and stuff are fixing just from the IV, even though they're not pinpointing the, the treatment. I also did, while I was here, a whole week of NAD+, which uh, really, really focuses me and clears my brain and really makes me feel good. I also got an ozone IV and a, a Myers cocktail. I did three hyperbaric chamber treatments. Uh, I did some PMF treatments on some of my spots. The last time I got it, I, I put up a very real account of what was going on, and it was very painful. Okay, one, two, three, oh. down. Uh. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah, that was painful. I'd gotten everything from here down, every joint, every piece that required to move. So when I moved, everything was really sore. I had a very different experience this time. I'm just out. Um, pain is uh, completely different than it was last time I did this. Neck is pretty sore. Like I slept on it the wrong way. I feel my toes a little bit and my hips. I don't feel it in my knees. So yeah, I'm good. DPI crushed it again. Got the injection less than 24 hours ago, maybe about, uh, I don't know, 20 hours ago maybe. And I feel probably 50% the pain that I felt then. Uh, my neck, which is what I expected to be the worst, uh, isn't too bad, I got movement. The worst is actually my toe. See that I'm not uh, nearly as much pain as people who followed me before. I'm sore, but I'm, I'm not that bad. In the last, I guess it's been about seven months since my original appointment down there in December. I went from being, it's game over with doing stunts, with doing bikes, with doing probably most things active for the rest of my life to not even thinking about it anymore. There was another guy who was down there and he had a labrum tear and a rotator tap tear in his shoulder. Within three months when he came back, no tear. Once I got the 80 million IV, I did feel good the next few weeks. Um, even now, um, people even said, oh, you look a little different, or you look younger, or you look just like, you look healthier. Maybe I'm just pregnant. It's 2023, anything can happen. This will be something that I will continue to do for me, to having longevity in a healthier, more physical lifestyle. Because now I feel so good, I don't, I don't really think about it anymore because life had been so um, hard. I, I didn't realize how much my, my, the pain I felt my body was affecting my attitude and the way I treated others and the, maybe my responses to others and my lack of patience with some things because I was just in so much pain. And it has really changed my life, not just physically, but all around in such a better way. If you have questions and you're really interested in doing this, go ahead, DM me, and I will try my best to get to everyone. And I hope that this helps people who are in pain. It really is, it really is, um, changed my life.